oh, protect directories on your server. And so I guess this was it here. So if we look at this, your mysite.com slash WP includes. So if we do this, let's say WP hyphen includes. Ah, so here we have, you know, in the WP includes folder, the entire list of all of the files in our WP includes. I wonder if the same thing happens with WP content. It does not happen with WP content, but it certainly does with WP includes. It's not going to be with WP admin because that takes us directly to our login. So WP includes is the only one that's affected by this. And if we come back over to, okay, we can get out of that and that and log out of there. And then, so what this is saying is that in order to prevent somebody viewing the contents of or indexes, what we do is we add this to our HD access file. And so many hosting providers. So solution, edit the access file again. Okay, so we copy this. And then, isn't that funny? I just closed that file. Forgetting that I okay, log in again. Oh. Oh, isn't that funny? Uh, Firefox must be flipping out somehow. That happens every once in a while, trying to log into your backside of your account and Okay, that was just Firefox having problems. So now what we're doing is we are going to open up the HT access file for Banner 1. And so we go back to File Manager and Banner 1. And then scroll down here to our HT access, which is either up at the top or down at the very bottom. Isn't that interesting? So I don't have an HT access set up in this directory. Unless I'm missing it here. No, it doesn't appear as if I do have one in this directory. So I could create one. Let's go all the way to the root. So up one level, all the way to the root. And see if I can find my HT access file here. No, you know what? I think this is actually preventing, this just isn't letting me see the HT access file in this file manager. So I guess we have to do it from our FileZilla. Okay, so if we go to Banner 1. Actually, let's just do it like in eStore 10. 
and let's see, go to WordPress, and then look for our htaccess file here. htaccess, we'll download it to this. Okay, so now in this case, so this was eStore 10. So here, if instead we go to www.eStore 10, byobtutorial.com slash WP includes. Okay, so this also displays all that stuff. So now what we want to do is is make it so it doesn't display that. So we go back to FileZilla and we open it. Actually, that's not readable. Open it up in in NetBeans instead. So while we're waiting for this to pop up, actually, okay, so are we live now? Almost. What we're going to do is we're just going to edit this and add that line to it. So file, open file. Websites and then tailoring the web. No, it's BYOB website, tutorial sites, eStore 10, WordPress, there's the HD access file. Okay, and so what he wants us to add to this is this options all minus indexes. So we'll go back to that and we'll just after WordPress options all minus indexes. We save that. We upload it. And we'll go ahead and overwrite. Then we come back over to the site and we refresh it. And now it doesn't let you in. So, so that's a way of hiding these directory listings. You know, I don't really know how easy it is to exploit that, but, but this is a solution to it. And so once again, I want to say that this is at www.splashology.com slash blog slash WordPress slash 921.html.